What's up everyone? This is Gus with Jeans Detailing LLC out here in San Antonio, Texas. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I detail this trailer. Let's get on to it. All right guys, so I am nearly done with polishing this giant trailer. Uh, this trailer was getting uh, the oxidation removed and it was getting waxed at the same time. So the products that I'm using is Shine Supplies All-in-One One-Step Polish and Wax. And I'm also using the Classic Polish. The reason why I'm mixing the Classic Polish with the All-in-One uh, all is because I noticed that due to the heavy oxidation this product seems to be drying out really quick and I have to keep using more and more and more and more so with that I wanted to give I wanted to give it more working time and more lubrication so that's when I went in also with four drops of classic polish and then four drops of all of one now this project has taken me a while this is my first time ever polishing a trailer and I am coming to find out that it is a one-step type of paint to where when you polish it, not only are you removing oxidation and stuff, but you're also removing paint with it. So for example, these are what my pads look like. Um, this is a bucket of O&R. So as soon as I'm done doing my little, uh, you know, section of polishing, I just take off the pad and I just stick it in O&R right before I'm about to clean them and stuff. So these are what the pads are looking like. And this is just one step. This isn't me doing two, two, what do you, two areas and stuff. No, this is just me doing two by two and then taking off the pad and just dumping it. I have about like 10 pads that I'm going through, but I'm just doing a little two by two, two by two, two by two, two by two. Um, and yeah, that's really it guys. If y'all guys have any experience polishing and waxing trailers, please put it down in the comments and let me know because as a first time, for me, or for me doing this as my first time as a detailer, it is kind of different than car paint. And I am noticing that the finish isn't really coming out perfect in some areas. I don't know if it's just because those areas have more damage than other areas, but that is what I'm dealing with right now. As soon as I'm done polishing all of this, from there, I just gotta polish up this chrome. I'll try to polish this up as well dress the tires, clean the rims, and this bad boy is good to go. So uh, stay tuned to the end and let's get on to it. Alright guys, so I am done polishing, waxing, 
polishing up the chrome, polishing up the little metal areas. I'm completely done with the trailer. It's nice and wax, has a nice finish to it. Got that nice oxidation layer off, and now it actually has some type of gloss to it. Now, for my first time working on this type of like plastic or weird material, it was it was strange. It was kind of weird. Uh, just for some reason, this side came out better than the other side, but I didn't change any of my process, nor did I change my speed or my hand pressure, which is just weird. And I did notice that uh, this type of material, I'm guessing from like the chemicals that they use to wash it, it does stain very easy. But with all, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any tips on how to wash this even better and how to maintain it better, how to polish it and wax it better, please put down in the description, description please put down in the comments and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.